Hey guys, welcome to the live stream. If you're watching this, skip to like two minutes and yeah, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, check the description box. If you want to skip to like two minutes, know when the live starts, get started. And yeah, boy. Um, today's video is going to be all about my story time on when I was a dropshipping little girl. It was, it was interesting. So I thought I'd share this on here. And yeah, we're going to get started in a little bit. However, um, you guys can just click the description box to see when it actually starts. All right, so I'm going to wait for people to chill on here. But yeah, this is going to be a cool story time because I'm sorry if this is too up. Because who does this? Like everyone does Amazon FBA now and there's not a lot of people who do it like as a kid. So let me know if you can hear me. If you're here right now, make sure you type in like, what's up? What's up? Okay, so make sure you type in one, like type one right now in the chat if you're ready for the story time. What's up? What's up? Okay, so this is going to be so funny. I was literally the most like... I already knew I wanted to be some selling something, making something at the age of like seven to eight, but I actually like started at nine years old selling Amazon and I have photos to prove. So, hey guys, make sure you comment one if you're ready for today's story. I see you guys are commenting too. Okay, so I'm just going to dive right in. And if you guys are watching this on the replay, you can check the description box for when this story time actually starts. So. If you want to hold your questions, I will be answering every single one, and you can literally ask me anything about Instagram growth, whatever works for you. Well, we're just going to dive right into this. Um, so, all right. So, sorry if this is too loud. You guys can comment down below if you want it to be softer. Um, but we're going to dive right in. So, basically, here's let's just let's just put the screen on, okay? So, first of all, these are some photos of me <laughs> when I was like nine years old and I actually sold things on Amazon these were the products let me know if on the live stream if you can see what I'm saying um, <laughs> that was me and I got my first shipment I believe and it was really <laughs> interesting because I was opening my first package as well um, I, I don't want to watch this video yeah this is really embarrassing what what is that what, what is that I, I don't know I don't know um, however my dad was really supportive and he kind of helped me get started with my drop shipping experience and I sold things on Amazon like I legitimately like that's the all the shit I bought on uh, China um so that's like legitimate yeah those are actual photos so as embarrassing as that sounds I actually made videos about the product and stuff um but let me just tell you how I got started so like I there was something called squishies do you guys remember that on, it was, no, I know it's slime that's trending, but today we're going to talk about squishies, because this is what I sold. It was these keychains, basically, it was, um, it was, <laughs> it was these things, I sold these things on Amazon, back when FBA or, um, when dropshipping wasn't a huge thing, like, this was, this was the thing, okay, it was these keychains, so, alright, I know, really funny, um, and that was not supposed to happen. So basically, just imagine, just like as a nine-year-old, you're just like thinking about a dropshipping Amazon store. Like, who does at the uh, two, in 2011? I mean, it was pretty insane. I don't know what to do. Like, I just bought stuff on Alibaba and sold it on Amazon. But this is not the same dropshipping as what it is now. If you guys don't know, there's a lot of these um, entrepreneurs that uh, do dropshipping, and they store all the items not actually in their home. They like store it in. Amazon, which is smart. You don't want to keep all the products in your home. Yeah, I kind of kept all the products in my home. So basically, the business just wasn't scalable, but it worked. So I spent like, I think I made $300 and I would put back $300 and make $1,000. I would make $1,000 and I would put it back into the business and I would make $5,000 when I was nine. And this was per month. But guys, this is the moral of the story is I made $5,000 in revenue, not in profit. There's a huge difference in revenue and profit. When you do drop shipping, you can basically have a huge revenue of $1 million, but make no profit or like a buck fifty on profit. So many people will tell you how much they make in revenue, but not their profit. And I'll be honest, I mean, as a nine-year-old, I mean, I don't think I was doing it that bad. 
However, I'll be honest, like, there's a huge difference. And you'll see people on YouTube lie to you about their revenue. And you just have to spot, like, who's the real ones and who will tell you the truth. Because people can sh sell you short truths. And it's really important just to understand, like, I did it as a 9-year-old. So it's not really crazy when I see, like, 20-year-olds doing it, making $1 million. But there's a huge difference. So that was my story time. I'm going to head over to comments. And I have, like, more funny remarks. But let's see how let's let's see this okay so um i uh, love your channel thank you so much thomas glow up <laughs> glow up for sure i liked your pics hey what's up how much did you invest um yeah i would basically buy like 300 dollars of worth of products i can show you these products by the way they're they're just these squishies <laughs> on alibaba so i say say i spent 300 dollars on stuff like this so each little like little squishy thing <laughs> And all these little bags were like five dollars each and I would sell them for like ten dollars um, but, but back in the day the competition was a lot lower so I was easily making five like, grand a month it's just like when you put ad money and when you buy when by the time you put all the shipping costs because guys keep in mind I freaking I freaking ship these products from my home <laughs> like it wasn't some type of like Amazon like fulfillment it wasn't a back in the day fulfillment was like not as big so i was just thinking in my head like okay i would just keep the fucking products in my home i would ship these products one by one and i was making sales of course it was just as a fourth grader or fifth grader i was like damn it i kind of just want to sell local like i don't want to sell online so I did sell local. I actually made another business and I would sell to my school because shipping's expensive. Like I would only make like fifth, like a dollar profit, which is fine. It was just, I could have kept going. To be honest, I should have kept going. I had to stop because I had a couple health issues actually, which is no, I mean, there's no excuses, honestly. I just really stopped because people were like giving me shit because I mean, I don't think that's what you're supposed to do when you're nine years old. Anyways, check in the comments <laughs> Um, so yeah, how much did you invest? Like 300 bucks? Wow, five grand at the age of nine. Yeah, I mean, five grand is great, but like that's not even profit. Like, it's really hard. It was really hard to keep going because at the time my family was like financially unstable and I just felt bad buying products and making really low profit. So I stopped. I, sh I should have kept going. However, I just wanted to tell you that anyone can do drop shipping. Just don't be fooled by people messing you up with like telling you about their revenue. The profit matters. Um, I remember my five, my first five cents at age 12. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, they just want to sell you. Wow, the grind don't stop. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Um, wow, how did you gain web traffic? Okay, guys, web traffic back in the day was like so much less competitive. Like this was 2011. There weren't these like little like, sorry, I'm not trying to offend anyone. I have a lot of friends who do drop shipping. Sorry, but I don't know. People think it's like a legitimate business now. And it's like, it's literally too late, guys. It's like, if you want to do drop shipping, do it on Amazon. But if you solely do it on your own, selling your products in your room, like it's so unscalable and there's more competition and you can't do it at scale. I love you. I love you too. Um, web traffic is so challenging. I agree. I agree tremendously. Um, and I don't receive a thing, sad thing. Hey, Mario, I want to say thank you for translating my video. I want to give you a huge shout out on literally every single video. Thank you, Mario. I didn't notice it. I'm really sorry, but I really actually appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any questions now in regards to YouTube growth, I'll get to it. But Mario, thank you so much. I didn't mean to be an asshole. I didn't see your notification and I really appreciate it. Um, I want to show you guys, I guess, this entertaining video of me reviewing the products because I guess we're here and you guys are amazing. So like... I fucking hate embarrassing myself. All right, here we go. So this is a video of me back in the day doing YouTube reviewing products for my little Amazon store. All right. People won't believe me. This is legitimately the most embarrassing thing. Okay, let's go. So my Amazon store was Toko 10, by the way, and I would sell. Do you see that? Four Ace cut, four, four S cases. So back in the day when Apple had four S, yeah. Are you guys hearing that? I want to show you guys the whole display, but I was legitimately talking about this freaking phone case selling it because I, would, I wouldn't get traffic just on the pictures. So I create my own content. I would make a video review and literally place ads with my 
freaking nine-year-old self. What was that haircut? I don't even know. Okay. I really just, I, I, that's the thing is guys, it's not even my first business. Like the Amazon was the most like structured and it made sense. I had another e-commerce store selling like these like clay creations. And then my first ever like business was selling um, keychains at my school in fifth, in my elementary school um, to the moms and like gifts. And I would make it, I would literally hire people. I would hire people, but that's another story time. Today is just about Amazon. I think I honestly got into Amazon dropshipping, not because it, no one was doing it. it was, I knew that in China, you could make more profit by exporting it or importing the products because I was so used to making my products at home. I would literally take my freaking like scissors. I was such a crafty little girl. I would make like these like clay creations. I didn't realize you can get it from China for cheaper and make money. I would make little like figurines for hours. Do I still have one? Okay, it looks like this. This is a baby and I know this is gonna scare the shit out of you, but I would make like figurines like this and make it into a keychain and sell it. But it was, it took me hours. So I just, yeah, that's what happened. Um, guys, back to my beginning of time. Thank you so much, Nathaniel. You are amazing, and I actually really appreciate that. You are the cray, the cray, guys. Okay, whoever overdose on coffee is, I like totally just like love you. My my old username used to be Jade the Crayfish. I was psycho. I was literally the most crazy child. I don't know why I had friends. This is another story time, but I got in trouble so much with a teacher because in the middle of class, I was selling products like. What the frick was I thinking? My mom had to come in to the conference call. Wait, actually, actually, guys, maybe I should get my mom here. Maybe I'll get my mom. Hold up, hold up. Okay, I'm gonna call my mom up. I feel like people just won't take me seriously. I don't know. I don't remember how much sales I made, but I remember my mom does because she got the bill. Hey, mother. Yes. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> do you still have it yeah. mom my mom found the old products okay how much money did i used to make mom okay um I say hi mom hi <laughs> okay you when you are like fourth grade you came to me ask for one hundred dollars a hundred dollars yeah to start a business and i said what did you want to start a business what kind of business is but and then you said that you uh, give a presentation to me. I, wait, I, I was I was pitching money. to you. I was pitching to you, right? Yeah, you are, you give a uh, business pitch, and you told me that you're gonna guarantee that one hundred dollar become three hundred dollar. I guaranteed that I would make a three x. Yes, <laughs> and I said, what do you wanna sell, Jeff? <laughs> literally these i would make yeah. stuff like this I, w I wish i had my old ones but oh, i would yeah. make stuff oh, actually i still keep it the one that you sell it to your friend in the beginning you sell it to yeah your so i started local like uh mouth to mouth marketing and then i move on to online so yeah. these were literally the products i sold keep in mind i yeah. have a lot extra so if you guys want some yeah yeah, yeah we still have them we still okay have this some. is the story it was like you make from uh 100 dollar to 300 dollar in one month I was so proud of you. And then how, when did I make 5 And then from after the second month, three, uh, from $300, you didn't spend the money. Jade, I saved it? No, yeah, you you give it all the money to me, and then you uh, buy um, $1,000 merchandise. Okay, no, 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 no more sorry. Stop, stop, yeah. stop flexing on me. I'm, a, I'm not that good. Yeah. I know I'm in. <laughs> Hi, mom. So, uh, from okay, mom. Up to 5000 yeah. 5000 okay. Bye, mom. So I spent like a thousand dollars on merchandise and then I made five thousand. So my, maybe my profit was bigger. I just don't remember how much I made because I wasn't the one collecting the checks. Okay. Um, hi, mom. She's darling. She is darling. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do a little. <laughs> I can't believe they're actually keychains. I would sell them. Wow. If anyone has any questions, I actually am pretty, st I'm so experienced in the whole uh, Facebook marketing and um, Amazon marketing. So just let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm gonna keep this live stream under 20 minutes, so I don't bore you guys. Yeah. Um, let me think. I, I want. I, I'm. So, I'm thinking. I want to show you guys a website. Like I want to show you guys my Amazon. I don't remember what it's called. Like I don't know the web page. It's definitely deleted, and I don't want any of the like billing side. My dad totally lost it, but my dad did really come. You know, with me like supporter of it and I just ran all the front end. He ran the back end. <laughs> um, this is too cool. Just find your channel. So like, Thank you so much, love. You're awesome. Thank you so much again. Um, 
Hey yeah, guys, I uh, don't know what else to say other than, um, is the audio better? Hello? Hello? Thank you guys for reminding me if the audio sucks. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to end this live stream really soon, but hopefully the audio gets better. How would you go about Facebook ads for a personal brand? I run face, uh, fitness person uh, when they don't have a physical product. Got it. So you sell coaching. Uh, Rob, Robion, Rob, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to butcher your name. So Robion, if you're trying to sell your personal brand, as but you're not selling like a physical product and you're selling your time, you just have to sell a coaching service, right? Like you're trying to sell your expertise. The way I would go about it is make a lot of YouTube videos or Instagram tutorials on your on your niche, like on your ideal client, and talk, explain to it. And all you gotta do is run. Uh, Facebook ads that target people who are maybe 20 to 30 in your area or in US and then make Instagram story ads that target people who are trying to lose weight and fitness. You can target those people with um, in Facebook ads. Do you regret dropping out? Dropping out of drop like drop shipping or like dropping out of school because I did both. Uh, I regret stopping drop shipping. I don't really regret dropping out of school. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean if I, like, my, my mentality is, like, if I fuck up everything, you know, like, if I was able to do a little e-commerce at the age of nine, I think I can do it again, if anything, if I need to make more money. Uh, yeah, I hope that was helpful, Robion. I would honestly think about creating a really good little tutorial or content. Just remember, you're, you're a fitness expert, but in the beginning, you have to be a media company first that happens to sell fitness expertise. You just have to be content-driven instead of you know, um, ad driven, make sure you have a lot of videos or content. Yeah, guys. Um, I'm, I really just want to say thank you for all the support. Um, if you have any questions, I, if you can be as selfish as you want, by the way, with these questions, someone in the audience might have the same question as well. Um, would you ever use Facebook ads to drive traffic to your insight? Yes, I've done it before, but it's too late. I think no, too many people are doing it or you just have to be better. Just try to make the best ad possible. Where is the full video from your Insta about millennials? Oh, um, that video, I represent a new generation. I'll link it down below and I'll put it in the description box when you're done. It's called I represent a new generation. Wait, how old are you? Are you dropping out of high school? Oh, snap. Yeah, I dropped out of high school a few months ago. I'm 16. So guys, for everyone in the live stream, I have like a little gift for you. It's not really big. I, I Honestly, I'm still trying to build my business. So I just wanted to say I'm working on a few like giveaways. But for now, if you like just to get in my inner circle i have like a spotify exclusive playlist just for you guys if you want to scroll down it's in my description box i believe and um yeah i'll leave my spotify playlist down below a lot of you guys said you like my music so you can jam with me anytime anywhere and i just thought it'd be cool to just have you more in my inner circle so check out my spotify playlist just for you guys that's what i like work out to that's what i um do my all my uh, business stuff what I listen to so check it out. It'll be in the description box later today um, Are there any news ways to drive web traffic? Yes, the best way to do web traffic right now in 2018 is I believe is organic organic like just try to make your YouTube videos or you know your website like the all your marketing needs to be about content It shouldn't be like to salesy people if you check my video if people watch Instagram ads all of them said that they're annoying. To not be annoying, you just have to give value. So either like make a really good piece of content or make like hire a couple influencers to talk about your product. It's it's just don't make it too salesy. My biggest tip is just to make really, really high quality YouTube videos because YouTube has like a search engine in built in. Could you make a video about SEO and Google Analytics? Yes, I can, Destiny. I'm actually one of my favorite things is to talk about the nitty gritty all about marketing. So yeah. How many languages do you speak? I'm an, I'm literally so illiterate. I can barely speak English. Joking, I'm joking. I just, my grammar is shit. But I can speak English. I understand Indonesian. And I understand Chinese at the minimum. At the minimum. I, I only speak English, guys. Uh, but I can speak French. Kind of. No, just kidding. Um, I'd push my seat back. What? Oh, okay. I'll add that song. Thank you, of course. Uh, on Spotify. Yep, I'll add it. I'm sorry. I'm very new here. What's your business? Okay, so <laughs> I don't want to confuse anyone because it, I'm I'm still building it. 
but if you are an influencer or a YouTuber and you're struggling to have a sustainable traffic, you know, your engagement, like, you know, the Instagram algorithm that fucks you up. So if you're struggling with engagement, I create tools and a mobile app to solve this, solve this problem by using direct consumer relationship. It's going to sound really confusing. Just imagine I help you get your email list and build it so you can have direct to consumer relationship. You have, you have like, like you have this, you know, there's no Instagram in between. Because when you think about it, Instagram owns your traffic. Like you don't have any of it with one algorithm. They can wipe out your whole feed and no one can see your posts. So that's what I help people do. I coach brands t- to learn how to do that. And I also coach you guys. Um, later, you'll see my next project, which is going to be kind of in the music industry. But for now, let's just say I help you get your email list so you can sell products, make this YouTube thing a full-time career. You know what's up. If you don't see the value in email, I'll make a video on that one day as well. Please do a video on web traffic for dropshipping on AliExpress and Amazon. I will, I will, I will. It's just like, it's a little, I'm sorry, but it's a little too late to do to do Shopify. But Amazon affiliates or Amazon um, fulfillment works great. So I wouldn't, I would ship the products. Just don't do what I did. Don't ship it to your home, okay? It's a fucking waste of space. Um, where are you from? Sorry, you might have said it before on YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm actually um, from Portland, Oregon, and I used to live in LA. So you're a creative filmmaker trying Amazon. Okay, Amazon, guys, it's like really good. Just be careful because there's a lot of competition, and I'll help you guys find the really good items to sell, but like, it's just, ugh, there's so much competition. What's your biggest mistake in life? I don't like have any mistakes. I mostly like, okay, no, <laughs> hold up. Um, my biggest mistake is stopping. Like, I, I have so much regret is more, more powerful than mistakes. Like I don't care if I fuck up. I regret stopping YouTube for five years because I was getting like made fun of at my school and I was, a, I just regret stopping. Like I literally stopped doing business, YouTube, I used to be a YouTuber, um, I used to like do all this uh, when I was 8, 9, and I just stopped because I was scared what people would think. Uh, we definitely have to link. Yeah, let me know, Destiny. I'd love to coach you and help. Awesome, send the app. Oh, the app is um, the app is actually building right now. Um, it's not an application. It's like we help you build an app. But if I explain it, it would get really tough. So let me know if you want to be part of this first project. You have to be really good and content-driven and... Um, most of the brands I'm working with have like around like 5,000, 10,000 plus, um, followers for the app. But when I coach, it's just anyone and everyone. Uh, that's right. We need to link up. Of course, make tons of sense. Thank you guys. I'll do beta. Hey, yeah, we'll do beta. That's always in beta. That's my favorite thing ever. Um, so yeah, guys, check out my Spotify playlist. I'll link it below. I don't know. I don't know why it's not searching. By the way, thank you so much, Mario, for translating my videos. You rock. Um, if you guys have any last minute questions, sorry, that was gross. Uh, I'll, yeah. <laughs> I'll answer them. I hope you enjoyed them. While we're waiting for questions, we're going to look at more disgusting pictures of me when I was nine. Yay. Okay. Frick. Um, all right. This one's really, this one is like, this one's so cute. Oh my God. Frick. Yes. That's my dad. <laughs> Do you see that? What the fuck is that? That's a freaking phone. I don't even know what that is. Is that like a home phone? I don't have those anymore. I don't think anybody does. Um, this is me opening a product. What is that haircut? What the fuck is that? What? That's an Apple clip. How adorable. Yeah, I literally... Guys, I did an unboxing. I legitimately did an unboxing. What am I wearing? Oh my god, is that a freaking panda hoodie? I love my <laughs> I love my nine-year-old cringy self. I'm trying to see what's cringy. Um that's an iPad one in the back. We got um we got some I don't even know, like this is just a long time ago. Like you can tell like this this is an old MacBook and um my fashion is really out of trend. So yeah, that's me. Um, what do you recommend for taking pictures for social media alone? I'm actually, Destiny, I'm going to make a video on that, how to, like, take pictures alone. I actually just force my friends to take photos for me. I'm, I'm really pushy, 
but um let me try to think like I, I honestly don't take selfies but I'm gonna make a video about that so just stay tuned you're so cool hope we meet one day I hope we meet too Adrian let me know if you're ever in Portland uh Frank Ocean is far better than the weekend I agree lol omg creative yep my, I think my first, I really want to show you guys this, my, my whole story time because the Amazon dropshipping wasn't my first business, guys. I had another one. I forgot the name of the website. It was literally, like, I tried to search for it. I'll show you. I, tr I tried so hard. It's so sad. I used to sell also e-commerce. I can't find the name. It was something kawaii. If you ever find it, my face is on it. Just actually, never mind. Don't actually find it. I don't know where it is. Like, it's not this one. <sighs> I'll find it one day, guys, for a second. Story time. I'm so sad. Um, but yeah, so like all these photos usually are taken by a photographer that I like my friend that takes photos for me. So yeah. Can I edit your videos? Check out my content and DM me. Uh, sure. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I love. <sighs> okay, I'm really tired. I had literally like four coaching call students back to back. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to book a coaching call with me, just shoot me a DM. My, my um, coaching call link will be below. And I'd love to help you all. Uh, do you use iMovie or Final Cut Pro? I use Adobe Premiere Pro. But I have a few editors right now who edit my videos. Um, but yeah, Adobe Premiere is what I use. Okay, so I'm going to log off in two seconds. So ask a question or forever hold your peace. Question out. Uh, uh. I don't know how to. I um I thought I hear you talk about your dad built a two million dollar e commerce business. Oh yeah, so my dad built a two billion dollar software company in two months. He helps two million dollar e commerce businesses though. Right now, our old business was software development, um, and then something terrible happened. So uh, in three months we lost all that. I used to live in a really nice town in LA actually. But shit happens, guys. It's okay. It's like not, it's like, it was tough when I was younger, but like I learned a lot and my dad's a hero. So yeah. 30 hashtags or no? Yes, 30. Yes, 30. Yes. Use all of them. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So I just say, um, I think your name should be Jade the Beast because you're killing a girl. Thank you. Thank you, Audrey. Uh, West Cali Love. I want to go back to California so bad. I just, like, remember when I was a kid, it was just really traumatic. Not traumatic. I, I'm making this so, like, dramatized just because I don't remember much. Like, when I had to move, um, what happened? I mean, guys, like, when you're, the market crashes and your family just kind of goes through shit, um, you know, we had over 10 employees, a really nice office building in L.A., um, one of the largest growing businesses um, at, in 2005. And shit hit the fan, and it just goes. Choo. Oh, tell me the story. Okay, so you guys, if you guys want to know whole. Story, okay, this is not supposed to be about the story though. Um, I maybe I'll make a different video on that because it's it's really long and it's actually really like hard for me to explain. I was young though. Uh, what happened was I moved from LA to Texas and Texas to the Northwest. When I moved to Texas, I literally had nothing. Like, I remember just like I remember <laughs> I had to bring my mom in this chat, but like I remember like talking to my parents and like hey like why are we living in an apartment all of a sudden because we used to live in like a you know those houses with the u drive like you know what the like we had a nice house in um california or la and i was like hey mom like why do we live in an apartment now and she was like hey jade uh your dad is um struggling and then we lost our jobs and then now we're good don't worry guys it's not today about that um Today's not about that story. It's, we're like, we're good. I mean, I live in like a townhome, but I'm super humbled and thankful every single day. So it's not a big deal, but I will share that story one day. It's just, I really need to like remember everything because I try to forget a lot. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's all I had for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It kind of went on to a mansion, uh, like a tangent, but I'm from Texas, San Antonio. I'm from Austin, Texas. So, well, I was there for a bit because the market crashed and we had to like run away there um life of an entrepreneur actually it's honestly my dad like I didn't know what was going on and he was going through so much as an entrepreneur with his software company that made two million to like horrible depth it was really sad to see and I was so young I didn't understand it but looking back I'm like holy shit um yeah oh no way nice uh okay oh from 
You're from Oklahoma? Dude, that's dope. Hey, Aiden, what's up? Okay, guys, I will continue the story time. Just let me know if you have any questions and I'll continue. I have to go back to my meeting. I literally have another meeting. So I love you so much and I'll keep in touch. Um, I'll see you next time. Make sure you like and subscribe and check the links below.